when we are assessing effectiveness against um, COVID-19 admission um, in, in this Omicron period, um, we, we assess vaccine effectiveness to be at 70%. In the prior period, it, it, the vaccine effectiveness amongst our client base um, in the period September to October was sitting at 93%. In other words, our, um, our fully vaccinated Pfizer clients were 93% less likely to be admitted to hospital for COVID-19 um, when, when Delta was circulating. However, now in the Omicron period, that, that has reduced to 70%. What is clear? is that vaccinated individuals are experiencing milder infections in general and that's supported by the data shown by the 70 percent effectiveness against severe illness and also supported by anecdote where we're hearing that it's primarily the unvaccinated that are requiring admission and also that are requiring oxygen in hospital now, the vaccine effectiveness has reduced from 80% in the Delta wave to 33% now in this Omicron wave against COVID-19 infection, quite a material reduction. But the vaccines were developed to prevent severe illness and death. And what is very encouraging is that the vaccine effectiveness of this double dose of Pfizer-BioNTech holds at 70% in the Omicron wave against severe complications of COVID-19, uh, which we measure by hospital admissions. In the pediatric population, under the age of 18, there is a 20% higher admission rate relative to this first wave. 20% may sound significant, but considering that the admission rate itself is low, in real terms, the 20% increase is small and is just a couple of percentage points. So you can see now that the odds of reinfection for um, individuals with um, who, who, were, who have prior documented infection with, with T614G is 73%. And this is relative to individuals without documented prior infection. For beta, for, for individuals infected in our second wave, um, most likely due to the beta variant, um, that is also more than doubled to, to 0 0.59. And, and um, individuals who've been more recently infected in the Delta wave seem to have greater protection, but, but nevertheless still, still considerable risk, uh, a considerable risk of, of reinfection. Um, for the J&J, um, we, so we are monitoring breakthrough infections at the moment. And although we have had a lot of breakthrough infections, there's been very little hospital admission in comparison to the Delta period. And as of uh, today, uh, we've had no vac we've had no one who's died from Omicron in, from the um, the J and J study. So that's good news. It shows again that um, the vaccine is effective against severe disease and death. 